this video I'm going to show you how I converted this surge brake trailer into electronic brakes. So follow along. Thanks for watching. Here's the trailer. It's an Olympic trailer. It's got the old six lug style. Got brand new tires on it. Uh, right now I got one tire off so we can do our measurement for the backing plate, but I think you'll find this funny. have your drum torn off and all your bearings torn down uh, I'd like to clean up and check the wheel surface so you can see a couple grooves where the bearing rides uh, in particular there's a gouge there that could be from anything but typically it's from when the bearing spins uh, the seal surface is super dirty and grimy so I'm gonna have to take some triple uh, zero wire and uh, clean that up sixteenths take these five nuts off Brake line's already cut on this one too, so should be good to pull right off. So the bearing surface, really quite nice. Uh, as long as our bearings ride on this and our seal rides on this good, uh, we're gonna be in good shape. So I'm gonna finish cleaning this axle up and do the other side. So now that we got all our parts minus the incorrect size seals, and I'm gonna keep these up on a shelf. They're a pretty common size. I think it's a two and an eighth mounting surface or two inch mounting surface. Um, I'm gonna need the two inch, so I'll get a new set of seals. Uh, unfortunately, that's gonna hold me back for two days. So what we can do while we wait is we can pack the bearings and install the backing plates. Uh, they did end up sending extra hardware, as you can see. This one is a right hand one, but another way to check is the wires. They are always in the back of the axle. Torque spec on these 5 16 fine thread bolts is anywhere from 17 to 19 foot pounds. I just ended up using the impact. Then here you can see me just cleaning up that seal surface a little bit. I uh, greased the bearings off camera. Didn't want to get my hands all covered and then touch the camera and stuff. So uh, the trailer is now outside. That's because the seals that came in the kit were wrong. So I'm going to grease these seals up and get them drove in. Uh, don't forget to have your bearings put in first. So I take a little bit here, go around the edge. Put that to the side. And then uh, sometimes the axle shafts will have greasable uh, axles. This one does not. So I'm just going to put a whole bunch of extra grease right here for the bearing and the race. Just like that gonna put a block of wood on. There we go, just like that. And sure enough, this spring came off too. Man, what a pain in the butt this is gonna be. Okay, so I was able to take a couple picks and put the spring back into place. I held it with my finger and I just ran my pick along and the spring popped right into place. So I have the outer bearing already put on. 
Now, the brakes can be adjusted poorly right here. So I just want to barely get it started. And then I need to put a hand right here or this bearing's gonna fall into the dirt. There's the washer. So now I'm just gonna take my crescent wrench and tighten this so right there it's snug. Right there it's tight. And we still have good movement. I don't think I can get a full extra turn on there. So I'm gonna get close though. So these are six sided one, two, three, four, five, six, right? It's a hex bolt. So now that it's tight, I'm gonna back it off to my next cotter pin location. Right there. This seems a little tight. take these lug nuts off and we can put this wheel on. This one is done. It's gonna be super important that we torque these down because these studs, we cannot guarantee that they're set properly. So we'll get the torque wrench out when we're done and torque them all. I got the trailer up in the air. You don't need to do this to make your electronic brakes work. Uh, you're likely only gonna have to run wires up to the front. I'm redoing all the wiring for this guy. Okay, let's get after it. Whenever you pull wire, you always wanna pull from the inside. We're gonna take a razor blade. We're just gonna cut away. We're probably gonna stab wires, so see, I I think I got lucky I didn't stab nothing, but it's not that important right now. But if you forget to put this on, you're gonna take all you're gonna take all your work and just throw it away because you're gonna have to redo it. So little flathead takes this out, and these are oriented a certain way. Some plugs, this one is thinner than this one. Some plugs are the same, so this one you can't put in backwards. It only goes one way. So this is how I wire them. You do not have to wire them this way. I've seen many trailers that they're completely different from this. Yellow is always gonna be left turn signal because when you're driving down the road, on the right, you have grass, and on the left, you have a yellow line. So yellow is left turn signal. Well, like I said, right is grass, so grass is green. Brown is running lights, because that's what it is on motorcycles. That's how I remember it. White is ground, always ground to me. Blue is brakes. That's almost a constant. I have another trailer where it's red, but in my book, red should be auxiliary or power and then black should be back up. However, most people I see, they put the black on back, or black on charging your battery or auxiliary, and then they'll do red on backup. So I have a little cheat sheet here. Got running light, left turn signal, right turn signal, 12 volt, um, brake light, ground. And this is looking in to the truck. And we wanna use the truck one because we are looking into the truck when we're doing it backwards like this. Uh, let's see, so I'm gonna take all these and I'm gonna strip everything off. Okay, so now you can see if we forgot to put this on, 
we would be totally good. So, get this situated. Look at that. Too many times they buy a new trailer. It doesn't work on their old truck. They say their old trailer worked. It didn't work. They thought it worked. So now you're scrambling. You're fixing two, three trailers, two trucks, and it's a nightmare. So if you always set them up the same way, you can always set their trucks up the same way. There would be no confusion. Okay, this is where stuff is likely to get confusing, uh, especially between kits. But this is your battery. It's your breakaway system. So if this trailer comes unhooked, a cable will pull. And this battery will make the brakes lock up. This is the cable here. So uh, in order to remain DOT legal, this needs to be on there. And you need to be able to actually use it. So you test it by pulling off the cable and trying to pull forward. If your brakes lock up, you know it's working. So we want to put this somewhere where we can tie into all the wiring pretty easily. So uh, I'm going to shoot for right here. It's out of the way. It's not going to get bonked off and uh, they're still going to be able to test it. Here's where we're at with the wiring so far. Uh, on here, this tag, it says white is ground. So I just ran the white up, made a clean spot on the frame, and then ground from the uh, seven pin, just grounded them both. Next we have blue, which is brakes. Uh, so this blue wire comes up to the brake splitter. So this is just a switch, just like in your house, an on off switch. So we have from the battery and then going back to the brakes. And uh, so one wire of this two-way switch here is hooked up to the battery. The other wire is hooked up directly to my seven pin, getting ready to go to the brakes. So as you can see, the two wires, one from the brake disconnect and one from the seven pin. And then uh, the other wire is just hooked directly to the battery. So this is gonna get tied up nice and neat like this. Uh, you don't want wires hanging in here, it looks ugly. The best way to do this would have been to mount a junction box right here but in all reality this trailer is not worth that quality um, also um, it's going to be a lot easier to make minor repairs and add lights to it and all that just like this so this will all be taped up and it'll look pretty neat but um, i would highly recommend if you like your trailer put a box right here or underneath the trailer out of the elements somewhere put a junction box it's going to work a lot better for you Okay, so wiring took way longer than I thought it was going to. Uh, a lot of little things that really added up, uh, mostly with the lighting. Uh, the lighting on these things can be pretty disgusting. There was mouse nests in here, uh, bad grounds, bad wires, chewed through wires, uh, corroded wires. But um, all electrical is done right now. So right now I got the running lights on. Uh, let me show you. The wheels, they spin right now watch what happens keep in mind this still is green i don't know if you can see that but it's lighting up green now i'm gonna pull this so now the uh, emergency brake is set as if it came off the hitch so it's gonna spin for a second lock up that is tight Let's see if i can do it with my foot tight the only way to test for sure how powerful it is and if the brakes are adjusted properly is by hooking it up and pulling it. Uh, DOT says it's supposed to go from 25, no, no, 20 miles an hour, it should be able to stop your truck. I think that's a load of bull crap because if the trailer's unloaded, it's just gonna skid out. So all I do is make sure that it skids out on gravel. Uh, if it does that, you're golden. So I'm gonna take this clip here. I'm gonna put it back in. I don't know if you heard the magnet disengage, but I'm going to show you what happens now that that's back in. Wheels spin good. So we know our trailer brakes are working good. I'm going to kind of break down the wiring now. So we installed our trailer brake controller. There's three wires coming out. One is to a ground. Another one charges it from this battery. And let me show you what happens when this plug goes in the charging or aux port. This now says charging. So we know that this battery will charge and we know that it'll discharge because we just tested it. So 
Black goes in to charge, white comes out to ground, and blue goes into our switch. It goes up to the switch, and when this gets pulled, it goes the other way to the brakes. Uh, I'm just gonna quick touch on this. This cable is set perfectly so that when this chain, it's gonna be kind of hard to get on camera, but when this chain tightens up, see how it's still, the chain's a little loose, but the cable's tight. When this chain pulls tight against the truck, that pops out. So that's, this is never supposed to be looser than the chain. I'll put this back in. All right, what do we got next? So this bottom pin or the blue wire goes directly into the brakes. And all I have it doing is I have the blue wire going to a red wire. You can see it right there. And that's traveling all the way along the center. And then you can see my wires running along the axle. So the wires coming out of the brakes, they don't matter if it's positive or negative or ground or 12 volt, uh, it's an electromagnet. So as long as one wire is grounded and one wire is 12 volt, you're gonna do just fine. So let's get on our creeper. So this is how I have them connected. You can see the two wires coming off. I leave myself a little bit of a loop, but I don't want it to get caught in the springs. And then it just comes down to the center, comes down to the center, ties into the front axle and keeps going. Now the wiring goes up and over into this axle. And when this one spliced in the middle, now it goes all the way to the front of the trailer. Super, super simple system. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I will answer them. I will talk you through any wiring problems, uh, how to solve them. I love wiring. It's so straightforward to me, so it's very easy for me to help people. So that's about it. Uh, all I have left to do now is fix that one wire. Uh, and I always like to hook the trailer up to the customer's truck, make sure that his truck matches the trailer. So. That's all I got for this video. Uh, appreciate you watching, appreciate you staying with me. Uh, I got a lot more videos like this, mostly old Ford stuff, but even if you're not wiring this stuff, you can learn a lot from just watching somebody work. And uh, these are the kind of videos I enjoy watching, so I hope you enjoy watching them too. Uh, thanks, subscribe, like, leave me a comment, appreciate it.